Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here in Grant and Mahara's shop with Vaughn Davis. We are no strangers to building strange things and doing weird crap with strange things. And I don't know about you, but this is without a doubt the most terrifying thing I have ever seen a friend of mine build. Without a doubt. <laughs> Without a, this, this thing is terrible. Talk about, what, what is this? This is. Uh, this, this was for a White Rabbit Project. So uh, Grant was tasked with making a, a hoverboard uh, for an episode of the show. And uh, so he designed this from scratch, utilizing everything that he knew from, uh, you know, radio control, aviation. 16 counter rotating carbon fiber blades on super high torque engines, mm -hmm. these motors, which if he's standing here and this rises up, he is literally exposed to 16 blenders. Right. And that's what he said. He had never uh, actually had to test the theory, but he had said that these blades, if he put his leg into them, would explode and not hurt him. That was the theory. That was the theory. It was never tested. <laughs> thankfully, but... I'm glad. <laughs> um, um, yeah. But so he would... Um, so he, he was working on this and then he'd get it to certain testable, mm -hmm. uh, testable moments and he would dismantle it, obviously, to get it out of the door, get it onto the main stage. Talk to me what a test. It actually, yeah, it actually made it out okay. All right. Um, but yeah, he, he would take it out to the main stage, which is our, the largest room we have. He would close all the doors. Uh, he would come out and he'd tell us not to enter the room. Um, no matter what testing. you heard? Well, he said, well, he did say, but if I, if, if I'm not out after so many minutes, please. Oh my God. Enter the room. <laughs> it's he, like well, a you saw know, movie. He would say that in, <laughs> in jest, I'm sure, but I'm, th there's a little bit of serious of to course. that as well. It's like, yeah. you know, so he would go in there and he'd fire it up and this thing sounded much louder than you would imagine. I mean, of course this is going to be loud, right. but you know, this is a 16,000 square foot concrete building with walls between all the spaces and our stage is pretty soundproof. Yeah, right, as it needs to be to yeah. be a shooting stage. And we could hear this as if it were a jet firing up in our building. <laughs> it was absolutely terrifying. Oh my God. Um, and, he got, he, and, he, and he would show us the videos yeah. afterwards, you know, so sometimes he, and it was always, he would just, his goal was to just get up off the ground. Right. And, and maintain. Uh, like, so it was like never, it was never like, go up it was never to fly around yeah, it's yeah. like those would all be bonus things but the goal was to just get it up and be stable and a lot of times it would it would come up and then you know list one way or the other so, <laughs> so was terrifying. He would, you know he was very cautious about it he would you know just come up a little bit and right if it did right. anything he would just cut off the power yeah and then it would just drop right back down mm -hmm. oh my god i mean just like the ambition is incredible yeah the idea that you would conceive this and then go through with building it amazes me. Yeah. I, I've built some crazy stuff and I'm assuming yeah. like, you know, Grant's thinking about that. He's like, no, I can do this, right? Yeah. So if I can do it, I'm just going to do it. I'm just, it's just so beyond my mechanical ability to think through a system this complex. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, now, I mean, this was done a while ago, long before um, drones were as popular as they are. Right. And now they have a lot of electronic gyroscopes and things to help stabilize. And they can talk to like each this. other. Yeah. None of that was possible. He's doing all that himself. Exactly. Mamma mia. Yeah. There's other curses that I would like to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, it's incredible. I mean, I, I touch these blades and it's just, I'm gobsmacked by, by the ambition. Just, hey, I think I can do this, so I'm gonna do it. What I also love about it is it's so clearly a prototype, right? Like he hasn't, all he is attempting to do is to achieve the mechanical goal, and he hasn't worried at all about any of the dressing yet. True. And that, like that is a, that's a, like a, it's a pure engineering state, I think, in terms of machine design. Absolutely, yeah, not one extra screw. No. Oh man, what a thing. Yeah, pretty impressive. Truly. Yeah, that's it. We just wanted you guys to see this because it like gobsmacks us and it's absolutely worthy of, uh, of some discussion and consideration because it's a masterpiece.